Valen Wood still exists because you defeated the Veiled Heretics. I honor you. Normally I'd say these... Turned back. That way's bad omens. Even the heirs turned against them in Longhaven. The moors have always been a wild place, covered in thick fog. But for us who've known them our whole lives, it's home. Now, though, people have been disappearing into the mist. We find their bodies later, torn up and drained of blood. It's a reckless curiosity drives a person to look for cause in such things. Me? I'll take ignorance and a long, happy life in Marbrook or Woodhearth. But if you got to know, you might talk to Bredwin in his hut in town. He's staying, poor fool. Welcome to Longhaven. Used to be a busier place, before all this trouble with the mist. But we won't let that be an excuse for poor hospitality. It started a few weeks ago now, when the mist changed, turned a sickly color. All I know is what I saw with my own eyes. Hunters simply dropping their bows and wandering unarmed into the moors as if bewitched. Then their bodies turn up later, or what's left of them. Can't explain it. A wanderer, much like yourself, a dour Dunmer fellow, passed through here, bought supplies and headed straight into the moors. My warnings be damned. Seemed like he knew something. You want to figure this out? I'd start by finding that Dunmer. No, only the hunters. I manage clan affairs and the upkeep of the village. This was simpler before the forming of the Almeri Dominion. Valenwood is changing, and its people with it. I find my time occupied in dealing with the necessary adjustments. He was gone as quickly as he came. He was outfitted for battle, though that isn't strange for adventurers. But he walked as one who knows his goal and will not be deterred. Strangely enough, several. They all reported an odd sensation that wasn't present before, as well as an apparent rise in hostile beasts in the area, but otherwise returned unscathed. If this is some spell, maybe some are more resistant than others. finish my prayers and purify my spirit before I meet my foes in battle. I have been tracking my prey for many nights. A heathen vampire who shall soon be cleansed from this world. 
I thought him alone, but now that I see this place, I suspect a lair is hidden nearby. He shall regret leading me to this vile nest. I have hunted them all my life, and yet I have never seen magic such as this. I do feel their touch upon it. I feel it testing my will with every step I take. But I shall not falter. I shall face these creatures and leave nothing but ash behind. No fear, bravery, or foolish inexperience. I cannot trust one who could become enthralled at any moment. Prove to me you have the will to resist this foul magic. Find me at the lair up the hill east of here. Then I shall consider it. And now my work begins. So, you made it through the mist. Your will is stronger than I expected. Vampire scum. He barely put up a struggle before he fell to his knees, begging for what he calls a life. I did not expect such weakness. I will finish him now, if you'd be so kind as to step aside. No. This pathetic being is hardly even worthy of my blade. The one I followed here is called Fainir, a much more formidable foe than this maggot, I assure you. We shall meet him soon enough. He and all of his coven shall die. As you wish. In this moment or the next, his existence shall end either way. But be wary. A vampire attempts to sway and beguile with its words. Do not listen, no matter what he says. You must have mercy. The Dark Elf won't listen, but you will, won't you? We were different. I didn't want this. Kept to ourselves. Didn't prey on the living. The beasts, the Horvor, glutted themselves on the blood of hunters. We fed on them. We didn't kill anyone. It was a natural way. Until he came. The Veiled One. Ultima, I think. Sought an alliance. Promised power. Told us we didn't need to hide anymore. Others in my clan agreed. He taught them a ritual using an ancient vampire skull, said it would allow them to make countless thralls. The skull rests in the back of this cavern. Its curse seeps into the mists all around us. Destroy the skull and the magic goes with it. I never wanted this. Spare me and I can bring others to my side. We can be of use to you. Yes. He was the loudest of the supporters along with Athraidel and Lathriel. I saw them speaking with the Veiled One often. They never listened to me. You'll have to go through them if you want to reach the Skull. Now please, just let me go. Finished with your little chat. I shall relieve him of his head now and rid us of his insufferable mewling. Did I not warn you of this? that his vile tongue would worm its way into your thoughts. There's no such thing as a good vampire, just a vampire that has not yet been tempted. Our goals here are the same. Will you forget them for this scum? I can't oppose you. I don't slay the living. Only the dead run along, little worm. A brief reprieve only. I'll find you and your kin. Oh, thank you. The rest who opposed Fainir have already escaped. Filth! 
Now to Fainir, quickly. My blade does not enjoy being denied a meal. Lead on. I shall strike from the shadows. Strange winged beasts, pets of... You shall be purified! Play them all! For your sins you are thus judged. The same fate awaits them all. This must be the main living quarters. Fainir must be near. At last, my prey is within reach. Weavers make fitting companions for the vampires and their enthralling mist.
slay them all. them all.
So that explains what we saw as we slew them. They found themselves in the skull. Dark magic often comes with a heavy price. you again. The hunters say the mist has lost its sickly tint. Did you find the source? you again. The hunters say the vampires here. Sickening. Hunted in our own hunting grounds. We'll be more vigilant of their kind now. I'll see to it personally that every last one of them is destroyed. Thank you for helping us. She is lost to me. What do I do now? Oh, a fellow member of the guild. Well met. Oh, a fellow member of the guild. Well met. I'm here searching for a few others of our order. I don't suppose you've crossed paths with them, huh? I see. So their lust for power led them to their demise. A lesson every maid should take to heart. Thank you for seeking me out about this. You've saved me much fruitless searching. It is good to know the matter is dealt with. For the thought merchant -like. What have we here? 